Hey everybody, it's Alex here from Android Headlines, and today we're taking a look at Carbon, not the Twitter app, but the backup app and sync client. Came out about a week and a half to two weeks ago. Um, basically, when you open it up, it'll ask you to log into your Google account and possibly log into Google Drive or whatever cloud storage you want to use. But to back your apps up, you just tap the ones you want to back up, which we're just going to do those six. Then you click backup. You can back up to your USB storage, external SD card. Here you can schedule backup so it can be done every day at a certain time. You can back up to Google Drive or another cloud storage account which includes Dropbox and Box. We're just gonna do Drive since I already have that logged in. And you can put in a password there to encrypt your backup. And now let's doing the backup. All right, the backup's complete, and now we're looking at the schedule that I've put up. I've got, I've got all my apps scheduled to be backed up every day at 2 a.m. Um, you can choose to have a backup only if you're on Wi-Fi and only if you're charging. For me, I have unlimited data, so Wi-Fi doesn't matter for me. And backing up while charging, my phone is always on the charger at night, so I've got both of those unchecked. You can change the time to whatever, 2, 3, 4... I just do two because I'm usually asleep by then, so it won't bother me. You can also choose it where you want it to be backed up to. I have it going to Google Drive. And you can also restore in sync. As you see there, I've got you know, your USB and your external SD card storage. And then you can also get your apps from my Nexus 7. And same thing on my Nexus 7, I get it from my S3 which it might take a little bit to find the apps. Okay, there we go. They just found the apps, and these are all the apps I have backed up on my Nexus 7 right now. And as you can see on my Nexus 7, the Carbon server is running. Just after you click, um, these are both rooted, so I'm running it the rooted way. You'll have to give it super user permission, and after that, you won't have to do it again. After the first time. And you can just click on the apps you want to install or restore the data for. Um, the new update today allows APK sync so that you shouldn't see like where it says app download required. It should be able to download automatically. But it's a pretty good app for backing up your data, especially if you're going from an old phone to a new phone. Or you want to sync your data between your phone and your tablet or your flash ROMs a lot. It's a pretty good app. But that's how you back up your apps of carbon.